welcome back to the Turd Perk Show. All right, this video is user requested tonight by Alexa Lolo. This video is for you. There'll be a fee of PayPal $400. Thank you very much. I'm just kidding. Anyway, as we kick this video off, notice something. We've got an elastic collision, or should I say perhaps it's perfect. That's right. Perfect as in no energy is lost. And so we do not have a final velocity given. Now, I made this video several years ago, and to make it harder, I gave you an M1 in the video, and I gave you an M2. And to make it just a little harder, you know what I did, guys? I made M1 and M2 different, and I never thought that that might be a problem for somebody one day if they were not different. So here's what we're going to do. This video, M1 and M2, are going to be the same. So now let's take a look. Let's say we've got two masses. Uh, in this case, they could be rolling at each other. One could be rolling away, and it overtakes it. Either way, the setup is the same. Let's say that this one on the left is moving at 2 meters per second, and let's just say that perhaps the other one's moving at 4 meters per second. Now, I've already got a bad boo-boo, if it were, in this problem. Uh, I've got two velocities. I've got a velocity 1 initial and a velocity 2 initial. Uh, five bonus points, anybody that points out the boo-boo in the problem. Well, where you would now miss this problem is while this one is moving positive two meters per second, it's that neglecting the negative four, and I say that because that's what always gets left out. So let's just solve this problem, guys. Here's the deal. The foundation in this problem is this. The sum of, and I said x, let me correct that, I'm thinking 2d sum of all your initial momentum has to be equal to the sum of all your final momentum. And so that's the background for this problem. So to say that, we're going to write this out. M1, V1 initial, plus M2, V2 initial, equals M1, V1 final, plus M2, V2 final. And the thing where you always mess up is it's just a lot of work keeping up with all these V1s and initials and finals. But guys, you got to. You got to keep up with those. So let's do something. If the masses are equal, then all the masses cancel out. And you should be going like, wow, uh, Mr. Cole, this is like the best equation ever. V1 initial plus V2 initial equals V1 final plus v2 final man i should be able to plug right in and solve but there's a problem i've got two unknowns minor distraction all right so here we go so we've got v1 initial and v2 initial but we've got two unknowns v1 final and v2 final so we need a second equation that second equation i derive in like two other videos i actually went to this trouble uh the second equation i get my pen back on looks like V1 initial plus V1 final equals V2 initial plus V2 final. And some of you are probably looking at a textbook and you're like, uh, Mr. Cole, that equation's not in my textbook. Matter of fact, my textbook says velocity 1 initial minus velocity 2 initial equals on the other side negative v1 final minus v2 final. Yeah, I have no idea why they write it that way in the book. Look, guys, my equation is nothing but that same textbook equation. It's just easier to memorize when it's v1 initial plus v1 final equals v2 initial plus v2 final. So this is our special equation we'll use anytime two things hit and bounce perfectly elastically and there's no final velocity given. Guys, let's just go through and finish this problem up. All you have to do is solve one of these two for one of your two unknowns. So either V1 final or V2 final. Let's do this. V1 final equals, let's just solve it. We could plug in numbers and this would be real easy. Let's say this was like AP and you didn't have numbers. So V1 final would be equal to V2 initial plus V2 final minus v1 initial and now what i want to do with this is i want to bring it right back over and i want to substitute it into this other equation so let's do this uh, let's let's rewrite this v1 initial 
plus V2 initial equals, now in place of V1 final over here, I'm going to sub in that big ugly thing. And so we'd end up with what? V2 initial plus V2 final minus V1 initial plus V2 final. Guys, the heavy lifting is over. The only thing left to do is let's try and condense this thing down a little bit. So let's look at what we got in this thing. I want V2 finals on one side, everything without V2 final on the other side. So look, let's subtract V2 initial from both sides. So subtract V2 initial from the left side, subtract it from the right side. Hey guys, something crazy just happened. V2 initial is now, that's just gone. So V2 initial is gone. Well, that's interesting. Let's keep looking around. Uh, wait a minute. We've got negative V1 initial on this side. So let's add that to both sides. So we're going to have V1 initial add V1 initial to the other side. And then we've got on the other side V2 final plus V2 final. Hey, wait a minute, guys. That means that 2v1 initial is equal to 2v2 final. Uh, twos cancel, so all we've done is establish that v1 initial is equal to v2 final. So whatever the initial velocity is of object 1, so like in this case, object 1 is going plus 2, so that means the final velocity of the other object is going to be plus 2 meters per second. And then now you should be able to tell me what the final velocity is of the other one. Uh, well, we could go in and proof the other one here, uh, just in case you needed it. Bring that back up here, and we could plug it in, and you could proof that also V... 2 initial is equal to V1 final. So all that happens, and so for multiple choice, you guys are gold. They just exchange their velocities. Negative 4 meters per second. So literally, they hit and bounce and change directions. But anyway, that's the math on it, guys. I hope it didn't go too fast, and you got it. And good luck, Alexi. I'm rooting for you on that AP exam. Hopefully, I'll find you in the review session one day. So anyway, hey guys, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.